What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with another Mirror 4 video. And today we're going to do a guide on enchanting and enhancing. I really said that backwards. So I'm going to do enhancing first and then enchanting because enchanting is going to be a little bit quick. But either way, that's what we're getting into today. Before I get into that, thank you guys for all the support. It's been tremendous. I, I'm so appreciative of all the support from you guys and I love all the positive feedback I'm getting. So if you guys are liking the videos, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on and also we do have channel memberships we're gonna have a private members discord where we're gonna have some members only tips and tricks or, or maybe like a lot of tips and tricks may come out first on the members only for a couple of days and before they're released to the public if you want to get in before other folks and maybe get some members only videos and stuff be sure to sign up on that down below you also get some emojis and stuff to use in the live streams which there will be more of all right without further ado let's get into the video today we're talking about uh let's say enhancing first i always mix this up when i say it it is enhancing where you enhance the weapon let me double check yeah enhance so enhancing is where you upgrade your weapon from you know plus zero up to plus whatever now there are different rarities of the stones and your weapons and gear you have uncommon rare epic and legendary now that means for the uncommon stones, you can only use them with uncommon weapons. Rare goes with rare, epic goes with epic, legendary goes with legendary. Pretty straightforward. So let's talk about the different types of stones you can get, which I have the ones that are available currently right here. Different types. First, you have a regular old enhancement stone, which you have, I got both the rare and the uncommon. This, this enhancement stone can only get you to plus, you know, can only add one to your enhancement. And that's about it. That's your standard one that you're going to use most of the time. Now, next up, we have the Mystic Enhancement Stone. This has a chance of going from plus one to plus four. So you could get either get plus one or you get plus two, plus three or plus four. Very rare to get plus four. You don't see that too often. Plus two, a little bit more often than not. You still get a lot of plus ones. And then plus three, you still see a decent number of those, but definitely less than the plus twos. So those are very good to use then we also have the darken enhancement stone and what this does is decreases the weapons enhancement by one this comes in very handy more so on your rare items because a lot of times if you're using your enhancement stone you only get to plus five we'll, we'll get back to that in a minute well we're gonna keep these topics separate so there also i've heard there is one other stone that is like a guarantee not to break your item stone so the odds are still the same of it upgrading but the stone itself will not break the item if it fails uh i did not check the korean you know documentation for this like on their encyclopedia so i haven't looked around uh some people thought that it was in red moon but if you get red moon you actually can get the mystic again uh we're getting that in a second so i do not know of any other stone existing in our game at this point so you just have these three different types and they're in the different rarities could be something coming i'm not sure um, I do think there is something because you do see a lot of high upgraded weapons and stuff in some Korean footage. So I believe there's something, but I do not know. It's not currently in our game that I know of. So if something, if I, something else comes up, I'll make another video. Now, let's talk about how you want to go about upgrading. Let's just start with uncommon. When you're starting the game out and you have, you're getting all the uncommon items, you want to go ahead and you could upgrade them because you get plenty of stones but in my opinion like if i create another character the way i go about it is i just work through the main quest i spend some time afk in different areas those those nice i think red and yellow areas on the map where the drops are a little bit higher you get a lot of the gear and from there you can normally make your tier 4 gear except for maybe your accessories mostly your armor and stuff from just drops you can also run some requests and missions and do that as well and so just go ahead and get your tier four. Now, once you're at tier four, you're probably still not going to have any of these stones. And they really honestly don't matter too much in uncommon because you're going to get to your rare at level 40. So essentially what you're going to do is you're just going to upgrade your tier four uncommon gear and items to plus five. That's the safe. I mean, you can fail, but you will not break it up to plus five. If by some chance you do have some of these while you're upgrading your gear, then the way you want to go about it and I'll go ahead and do this right here because I'm doing some stuff for the codex but like let's say I got like this necklace right here first and foremost I'm going to upgrade to plus four 
And I do like this auto enhance system. So if you click on your item, you can do auto enhance and you can do multiple items. This comes in very handy when you're working on the codex later down the line. I don't want to get into too much in the codex in this video, but it's just good for, you know, making some examples of what I actually do these, you know, nowadays. So right here, if I does auto enhance, sometimes I might throw in some extra stuff. I don't really need to do that right now. So I'm just going to show you if you want to use a mystic enhancement stone, what you want to do is you want to go to plus four. And so we're going to upgrade that to plus four. There we go. So now my item is plus four. Now I want a chance to get to plus. I really need this at plus six to register in my codex. That's what I'm going for. It could be it could fail. And of course, the item's not going to break. It could go to plus one, could put plus two, plus three or plus four. Honestly, I really don't want plus four. I'd rather not get that luck on this item, but it is what it is. So let's see what's going to happen. It's going to fail. We're going to do it again. It's going to fail again. Move again. It's going to fail again. And we're going to go again. It's going to fail again. And okay. Now we, all right. So you see the, the light was a little bit shinier and a little bit longer. And then we ended up with plus six. So that's exactly what I needed for that. I really hate that it took that many stones, but that's how RNG goes sometimes. So that is how you use those stones same thing on your rare items once you're ready you upgrade to plus four now with your rare items you're gonna take a little bit longer to get to tier four it's okay to upgrade in between but don't use too many stones i don't really have a finite number that you should upgrade to it's kind of at your discretion there was like maybe at like tier one and tier three like when i first got items i was excited i upgraded to like plus five I would never use a mystic rare enhancement stone on anything less than tier four. Keep that in mind. Don't do that. Don't waste them on that. So I waited till I had tier four. Once I had tier four, I did the same thing. I upgrade to plus four. Then I use my mystic rare enhancement stone to go see what I get. If I got plus five, I then at that point in time, we own that valley and I'll get into this in a second on the valley where I had the dark. I had some dark stones. I would take it down to plus four. And then use another mystic enhancement stone to go try to go more and as you can see now pretty much most of mine are at plus six i might be getting close to the point of bringing them back down to plus four and seeing if i can go for plus seven but not quite yet and honestly i might save a lot of my materials because i do plan on utilizing the class change system to play another class as well so i am going to be saving up some materials now that is really kind of how you go about enhancing of course when you get into epics if you get an epic you know tier zero then you're gonna go ahead and probably put some, a couple stones in there if you have it and upgrade that to plus i mean i know people will still upgrade that to plus four and then use a mystic on that as well because that's just top tier in the game right now eventually you wouldn't want to do that you want to wait until you get a little bit higher but this is the general way you want to upgrade items so we talked about the uncommon items we talked about the rare items now let's talk real quick about how do you get these in stones the, the darken and mystic stones well let me go to the vendor real quick ambition castle uh, so if we go to i think there's other there's some other i probably there's probably the one here the crafter that's next to dampio can do it and let's see if we got this craft i think this craftsman can do it so here you can make these stones at this at these npcs and you can see you need the darken stone and you need the mystic stone how do you get these? Well, if you go look at your clan shop, these are at the top of the, the clan shop. They're occupying clan exclusive items. You can only sell these items in the clan when you own the specific area. The mystic stones can be sold in Bishan Valley and when you own Red Moon Valley. The darkened ones are from Snake Valley. So as you can see, we don't have Snake Valley right now. These are uh, locked. We currently have Bishan Valley so we can buy these. So. They do cost quite a bit of dark steel to register for the clan, but you are making quite a bit of dark steel from the valley. But you need to get these, and then you can craft your stones here at the crafter. You can get, um, let's see, use three on the mystic for uncommon, but you need 15 on the rare. Darken, you need 23 on the rare, and five on the uncommon. So, it's also good for if you own the valley, sell it to other players, because only, you know, one clan can occupy each valley at a time and usually uh, let's be honest most of the you know the top clans are going to maintain that week after week and so the only way other folks get access to these is if people sell those little crafting materials on the market or sell the actual stones on the market 
so it is a way to make some gold and unfortunately a way for some people to spend some gold so that's how you go about getting those stones you can also get some throughout the game i think you get some through um, the mystery quests and some maybe some missions and requests here and there now let's go real quick we're going to talk about enchanting this is pretty straightforward on enchanting you essentially pick your item your rare items can get three enchants uncommon items get two enchants epic get four enchants i have no idea what legendary does maybe five i don't know who knows on enchants you can get um up to s grade enchants and when you go in here essentially you're using copper dark steel and these scrolls these scrolls you pretty much get while you're playing the game not a big deal the only thing is you don't you can't you can't really select anything so you essentially just keep rerolling the three over and over until you get one that you really really like and you hope that the other two you semi like so in this case i got this all attack damage boost at, at s class this is not great to be honest i'd rather have like a bash or something like that because this 1.8 percent is really relatively low um, it, it's only like this these ones that apply to everything these alls are always lower and in most cases i don't really care for those but i got an s1 on this so i just left it at this for now i'll probably re-roll this some more so since you keep here you keep enchanting over and over and over until you get something that's suitable for you unfortunately there's no way to pick it and so there's really no method to the madness you just go about it and so that kind of covered that covers enchanting like so enchanting your items i do that at every tier on my blue items i do it on every i probably did it most tiers once we had it on the uncommon items because it's fairly cheap and you know you may as well have those extra stats each time so we are getting ready for event here and that's actually perfect timing i think that about wraps up this guide i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this helped you understand a little bit more about enchanting and enhancing like i said you can get up to plus eight safely if you get really 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 lucky on the mystic enhancement stone other than that anything beyond plus eight is probably close to impossible at this point because people just don't have the resources to waste weapons like that or armor or gear like that uh, especially not at rare and above so that's going to be it for today's video like i said i hope it's helpful if it was hit that like button if you're not subscribed yet and for whatever reason a lot of you are not subscribed please hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on so you know every time i post another tip thank you guys for all the support i'll catch you in the next one